Final video for the night. Um, what I want to show you guys is, is how you can use dimensions to like really cleverly space things out. So um, I mentioned that when you're doing your lighting, you can space an element in the middle of a, of a um, you know, ceiling or something like that. So if I place this light here, all I have to do is just do a dimension, carry it across, grab the center line, and then grab the dimension and click the EQ. So that centerizes it. So even if uh, I started it off over here, I'll remove that constraint real quick, just uh, click EQ and it goes back, right? So that's one element. But the is it centered in the square or center is vertically? Uh, it only centers it vertically. So you will have to do a dimension the other direction to get that to be um, centered as well. Okay, so, um, so that's just one element. But the wonderful thing about this is that you can actually do it for many elements. So let me remove these. And let's say I wanted to have, um, you know, a couple, let's, let's say four lights in this space, right? So I say uh, I'm going to put one, two, three, four, right? And, and I just kind of dropped them in there super fast, but I want them to be evenly spaced, okay? You, you can just drag the dimension string all the way across. Pick your last reference point and hit EQ and it spaces them all out. Okay, um, it doesn't do the other linear method like in the in the vertical plane there. It doesn't line them up all that way, but you can just use your align tool. Say AL, or rather, you need to um, set one first. So I think this would actually probably have to be centered here. So I'll centerize that. Remove constraints. That's fine. And then uh, just AL for the rest. So there to there, there to there. That's pretty much it. That's all. That's like all there is to it for that. But um, that doesn't uh, only apply to elements like that. You can use that for anything. You can use it for like you know architectural shading elements or uh, chairs if you have repeated chairs, that kind of stuff. Okay. Any questions about that? All right. Um, it's ex it's especially useful for when you're trying to do some space plan uh, like. An, schematic planning and you've got repetitive elements like if you've got uh, if you're trying to lay out a bunch of exam rooms and you know you want to try and fit in you know, five exam rooms in 50 feet then you just draw a bunch of lines put the EQ on there and it just spaces all those walls out perfectly for you cool all right